welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring in some tools, and uh, we're going to take a look at it, what kind of tools we get. So, out of the bat, there is no manufacturing information or anything like that. It's just made in China and a barcode, and that's pretty much what you do. But, when you open it up, see how compact it is. Get a set of all these squeegees and a couple other tools. So, they do give you a blade on here. They give you a little liner. This is actually to scrub it down to actually make sure you, you don't have any bubbles in there. Um, so they give you that. And then they give you the squeegees. If you can see it, let's open it up. All these are tools to actually set up a vinyl or any kind of um, um, sticker paper into your cars or, or, or carbon fiber lookalike stickers or anything like that. So they give you a couple of things in here. So let's take a look at all the items that you get in here. Um, not bad package, of course, you know, because it includes a lot of little tools. All right, first of all, blade, uh, similar to what I have. It's just uh, a newer version, a smaller little slim. Uh, got, I like this corner edges to make sure you, you, you completely remove all the bubbles out of it. So that's not bad. Um, the squeegee, it's like it's two sides. So it's a flat head here. It's a flat face in here. And then they have the smooth down. It's like a, a, car, a fiber in here. That won't scratch any other of, of the sticker or anything you're trying to paste down on the ground and they give you two of them if you can see them this is to take out the bubbles out of any kind of um, sticker paper that you're putting anything that has adhesive paper or you're trying to put down um, something like that uh, they give you extra blades of course in case you know because you're gonna need them you're gonna require after cutting out that that paper sticker so and then they give you this also which it has a little blade in here and if you can see it and this is pretty much it'll do a straight line out of the paper cut uh, on this fact if you see it right here you see the blade in there embedded in here so anything passing through let's go ahead and test it out anything you have through like a piece of paper or a sticker you could just cut it through here and the way it works it's just you just run it straight and that's pretty much it cuts down and um, this will help you out if you're trying to do a straight line or something, you know, you're lining up something nice and neat and you want to make sure you cut a perfect angle, this is a perfect way to do it. And it does, a, a, if you have a ruler or something holding down the line, you can do that. Um, like I said, they give you extra blades, uh, but this is great. This is a great item in case you're going to do a, a project yourself. So I'm using paper here. If you can see it, all the paper just to cut out, just to give you guys a demo. So everything included, the blade itself, and of course, this one doesn't have extra blades in here. And the way you do it, you could bring it up or down if you see it. The blade's embedded in here. Um, not quite sure how to remove the blade. If it's even possible, I'll hook the blade. But you could replace the blade here too in the center. Right now, there's a blade right in the middle. You can see it. I could, I could control it from this angle here, up and down. That's pretty much what I do. And this is the other fixtures they have. And we're going to put it to a test and see how well it works. And see if you guys like it what you guys think about it so all right we're gonna set up the tools right now that we talked about how to make sure we're gonna get every bubble out we're gonna see if we could get this whole tools out you guys see the kit. we're gonna try to utilize as much as we can and cut as much as corners that we can so we could save as much as this paper so let's go ahead and begin and if you have any questions on the tools let me know we'll take you step by step let's go ahead and do that 99 point to take this off in a bit right now so we can make sure we could get the paper from. All right, so carbon fiber high sticker. I put double layer just to make sure that this doesn't come off. Uh, if you can see, waterproof. That's where I got it for. Uh, Many kind of spills. I don't care how dirty it gets up here. And um, of course, you know, you can always wipe it down, smooth it down, and it'll bring its shine back. Um, wasn't 100% perfect on this line. If you can see my line here, but that's okay and a couple of little bubbles here and there but i just want it for protection mostly that's what i got it for um protection of the elements um because i'm going to spill a lot of i want to put my coffee here and this is really good for coffee and other hot items in here uh i proven it i used it that's why i'm a big fan of it um 
going to continue using it. A couple of wipes here and there. Um, I'm going to take out some air bubbles like these right now in a bit. But overall, look how clean it is now. A couple of shine. You can run this really good. Um, you can see the little corners I did. Nice and little neat. Um, this is where I'm going to put all my tools. I don't care how dirty it gets in here. 89.2% of you guys are not subscribers. It's not helping out the show. Please subscribe and help the show out. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.